an insider OG, a man that created a hashtag called hashtag J new because literally everything that happens in the NFL, this man knows a week or two in advance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go boots on the ground in Las Vegas. Jason Glazer! No, this yeah. fucking guy yeah. kidding me. Oh, God. Th thank you. Hey, no problem. <laughs> really, no problem, thank Jay. you. I appreciate yeah. it. Great to see you. Pat, once again, thank you for having me back this year to the draft spectacular. This is my 30th year covering the NFL draft, and there is <laughs> nothing better. Hey, when it's in Vegas, too, no one's yeah. arguing. I love Vegas <laughs> mm -hmm. just about more than any other place in the world. Yeah, we know you love Vegas, you absolute <laughs> oh, sack of shit. Oh, Kuiper, okay? We're not starting this shit, okay? We're not doing this yet. Booze back. Jeez. Oh, no, I'm not booze a back. fucking booze back, okay? I'm not a fucking booze Yeah, back. you are. But what I am is the best Jeez. goddamn insider in the game. And what I'm hearing, boots on the ground here in Vegas from not only the hookers and the strippers, oh. but from the NFL execs, is that the Eagles have interest in moving up their draft board to get Notre Dame safety, Kyle Hamilton. Oh. They really love what he can do, That's and big. that is the hottest story of the pre-draft process. That's not fucking happening. You're talking about hookers and pit bosses. You don't know who the fucking Eagles are taking. Fuck off, Kuiper, okay? <laughs> this is happening. This is true. You know why? Because I'm here. You're not here because you're an unvaccinated fuck, okay? Whoa. So I do know Whoa. what's going on. The Eagles are moving up, and they're getting Kyle Hamilton. You have no idea. No one fucking respects you because you're a complete sack of no, shit, Glazer. That's not true. Yes, it is. Oh, Jesus. Well, hopefully you two can cool down a little bit. Let's get to somebody that might know. Notre Dame legend, what are your thoughts on Kyle Hamilton to well, Philly? I'm definitely not surprised that Kyle Hamilton is linked to Philadelphia. Let me tell you why, Pat. First and foremost, thank you for having me back. You know how much I love coming on this. No problem, Coach. We love you. Kyle Hamilton is one of the best he didn't even hear me. captains to come out of the They probably said Paul Hording, and I think we all remember how good Paul Hording was in the NFL. Do we? we don't. So no, it doesn't surprise me that Philadelphia has <laughs> an inkling to trade up and get Kyle Hamilton. He's a day one starter. He's not a day one starter. He ran a four seven at the goddamn pro day. Might as well run backwards. He's not ready to play in the league. Coach, Jesus. you're an idiot. Well, once again, Mel, you know, guys like you who have never had a fucking jock strap on in their life, they said you know, 40 times mean everything. Well, I'm here to tell you that they don't. Guys like you, I don't expect you to know because you never coached, you never played, you never did any of that stuff, okay? I am one of the greatest coaches in Notre Dame history. I'm one of the greatest coaches in college football history. And I'm here to tell you that Kyle Hamilton runs faster than my applesauce runs through my digestive system, okay? He may be a 4'7", but he plays like a 4'3". I've seen it. That's not the type of player they're looking for, okay? You got no fucking idea. All right, all right Mel. I mean, let's cool down. We don't know what type of player they're looking for, no. but let's go directly to the source. Coach Sirianni, you legend. What type of player are you looking for? And is it Kyle Hamilton? I want an absolute dog. Of course. Okay. What the fuck does that even mean? Is anyone listening to this asshole? Jesus. <laughs> That's what matters. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a dog. Of course. Yeah. Well, of course you want oh, a dog. No Everybody wants a dog. And I can tell you this guy is a dog. Now, granted, he's not as much of a dog as my little beautiful 30-pound cocker spaniel <laughs> Melania. Now, that's a dog. That's a beautiful dog. You're in the, you know, the market for a dog. I would highly recommend maybe the, the Cocker Spaniel. We're talking about football players, not actual dogs, you fucking he is doofus. A dog. I'm trying to tell you time and time again, I bet he eats kibbles and bits. That's how much yeah, of a dog exactly. he is. I mean, he wins. What's everybody saying this guy's not a dog for? He went to Notre Dame. Of course he's a goddamn dog. This is fucking absurd. How does this guy keep getting fucking airtime every single year? Is anyone fucking listening to this idiot? Jeez. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, Mel, relax, oh, please. Oh, I oh, did oh. not expect that, obviously. Boys, oh, I'm so Sorry. Man, from the sounds of it, MC more DC. than all you fucking doofuses, man. Oh, oh shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up MC DC. Jeez. Hey, sorry. Hey, Sheila, we grab coffee. <laughs> what? I do not think How? Sheila Ford Hamp uh -huh. is getting Coach MC DC oh. any coffee. Must have been some other Sheila. 
Matt, no, I am so sorry. I did not expect that at all, pal. Can we get these guys out of here? I mean, that fucking doofus wins two games and acts like he's Newt Rockney. The other guy who thinks he's Newt Rockney has no fucking idea how old he is. And Glazer's probably knee deep in cocaine and titties right now. So Jeez. get these guys out of here. I thought this was my fucking night. And well, it's great to have you here, obviously. Well, you weren't allowed in Vegas, which was an accurate yeah, thing. Yeah. But well, we're thankful you're here. Let's get back into some good vibes, huh? Yep. Yeah. 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 Let's get into some good Let's vibes. Some good vibes. Yeah. Let's go. Let's move along here, though. What a moment. Wow. <laughs> what a moment there. Uh, let's bring in the college football national champion, Super Bowl champion, Ryder Cup champion, from his attic in Ohio, A.J. Hall. Yeah. Hey. A.J., you look incredible, pal. How about fucking Lou J. and Sirianni and MCDC and Mad Mel just leading this thing off? This is a positive night, A.J. Yeah, very positive. It was uh, amazing that all four of them got together, five, six. I don't know so many guys threw in there, but I, I'm pretty sure I heard Cocker Spaniel, 30 pounds, Melania. Is that true for Lou Holtz? <laughs> yeah, well, we don't so. know. We can't, we can't talk to him. We don't know. But we do know the first pick has officially been announced.